are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for Black and White Sports, and let's do my absolute favorite video to do the absolute destruction of the NBA. Game four, finals. NBA ratings are in, and they're awful. They are dumpster fire terrible. As we know, the NBA decided to give the double middle finger to common sense, American flag-waving proud patriots. They kneeled for the anthem. They celebrate China. They run their mouth about law enforcement. They portray false narratives and essentially call everybody racist. And the fans said, to hell with you assholes. And there's something very interesting about this. <laughs> they almost, they actually almost lost the first hour of the ratings to a, to a regular television show, a run-of-the-mill weekly television show. And there's something interesting an addendum to that that tells you they would have actually gotten beat. They would have actually gotten beat under normal, uh, probably non-COVID circumstances. Okay, let's do the ratings. So, the first hour of the NBA got a uh, 5,094,000 rating. The second hour got a 5 million four hundred and forty one thousand rating also nba countdown was in there three million seven hundred and nine thousand okay now so that rating is going to come out to about a probably about a 5.25 okay dumpster fire terrible uh i will give you a absolute sense of how that compares raptors warriors now, we've got the Lakers and LeBron James in the finals right now against his former team and Pat Riley's over there who used to coach the Lakers. All kinds of in normal, non-SJW woke circumstances would have been a relatively interesting finals, okay, from a story standpoint, but nobody cares about the stories. Now, game four last year earned a 9 Point eight rating, okay? A 9.8. So, last night's rating was almost down 50% from last year. But there's some important things to take away from that. Last year was already down 13% from the previous year, which was 11.2% and down 22% from 2017, which was 12.6. So the NBA has fallen off a cliff. But here is the most interesting thing. That first hour of the NBA nearly got beat. And when I say nearly, we're talking by uh, 75,000 viewers. It nearly lost to a rerun of NCIS. Not a first run NCIS, but a rerun of NCIS, which got 4,974,000 viewers. Okay. Think about that. 5,094,000 to 4,974,000. The first hour of the NBA almost got beat by a rerun of NCIS. That is so hilarious. So hilarious. The NBA has fallen off a cliff. And I know what you're thinking. Well, the ratings went up a little bit. we got to remember, Miami won a game by accident. However, that happened. And do not lose sight of the fact that the radical left and the SJWs have taken it upon themselves to try to step in and watch the NBA, even though they don't care about it. They're trying to pull. I used 
look, I covered pop culture on the old version of the Road Ranch channel. They did something similar with the movie Captain Marvel when it came out with Brie Larson. Feminist bitch asshole, okay? Um, she came out, ran her mouth about white men and all kinds of things. And the movie ended up making some real money. But what happened was the SJWs wrapped their arms around Captain Marvel, even though they even though they knew they didn't give a shit about Marvel movies or comic movies, but they wrapped their arms around it and flooded the theater in the first couple of weeks that it was open. Okay? So it became a social justice shit show. Well, don't lose sight of the fact that if you see a little bump in the NBA ratings, that all the SJWs, all the lefties, all the radical Democrats, not normal Democrats, the radical Democrats, are trying to wrap their arms around the NBA right now to make it look better. Adam Silver, I did a video last night. He has already come out and said, next year, no social justice messaging. Nobody cares, Adam Silver. We're out. And I'm out. Peace till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.